This is the Lenovo ThinkPad Nano, a thin and light carbon fiber masterpiece from Lenovo with a touch screen, I might add, which is a pretty sweet feature from this professional ThinkPad laptop. It's not something I would expect from a ThinkPad. I would think more of the Yoga series having a touch screen, but it has a touch screen nonetheless. Pretty sweet feature. Now, the next thing I want to point out is the fact that we have the click buttons on the top end of the trackpad. Now, this is actually super handy if you're somebody who likes to keep a dedicated hand on the keyboard, but still have the flexibility and functionality of quick access to click buttons without having to navigate your thumb around the bottom of the trackpad. But don't worry if you're not a manual click button user because the trackpad itself actually has a click connected to it as well. So a manual click on the actual pad. Here's a quick sample of the audio so you can hear what the trackpad and the keyboard sound like for yourself. Now for me, this is a fantastic keyboard with a medium key travel and it's nice and quiet. So no matter if you're in a quiet library, office space, or even a quiet coffee shop, you're not the one clanging away on your keyboard deck. Very comfortable and there's also a little bit of edge on the outside of the keyboard. So you're not like falling off the keyboard as you're resting your hands here. You can reach all the keys very comfortably. Now I love that they've given us these kind of medium full-sized arrow keys. Nothing odd there with the page up and page down right next to it as well. And they haven't eliminated the full size shift key. And for me, that is a huge win. I'm a big full size shift key user. I say it in almost every single video. Um, that's always a big plus for me. Now the speakers on this laptop are pretty solid. I'm gonna give you a quick audio sample so you can hear for yourself. Now to round off the keyboard deck review, you do have a fingerprint reader right on the top for quick access into your laptop. Now there is a webcam along the top bezel with a manual cutoff switch that slides over the top of the camera. Here's a quick sample of the webcam so you can see what it looks like. This is the webcam on the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Nano and a little sample of the audio for you as well. This is an HD camera. It looks really nice, I must say. Save an extra 6% on a Lenovo Legion laptop by heading down in the description below, clicking the link and using the discount code BENKAISER6. That will give you an extra 6% off even sale prices of a Lenovo Legion or Legion Lock laptop, and it's good till the end of the year. So head down in the description below, click the link, and use the code BENKAISER6. Save yourself some extra money. Don't even have to wait for the Black Friday deals. Now, if you're somebody who's obsessed with making sure you have great build quality for your laptop, then you're not gonna wanna miss out on the ThinkPad Nano. Amazing assembly. And it's so reminiscent of its big brother, either the X1 Carbon Extreme or the ThinkPad P1 it looks the exact same, just smaller. The way that the bottom cover fits into the side panel is just beautiful. I love the soft touch carbon fiber material. It's such a high quality laptop. I mean, look, it's so thin and it's so light. It's just such a great build. And the X1 logo on the ThinkPad is just beautiful. Love how they do that. Such great design aesthetic with these models. Keep in mind, if you do have oily fingers, you might end up getting some fingerprints on your laptop. Maybe keep a little cloth along with you, kind of buff those out. That is something that I have noticed with these you know, matte black finishes. They're prone to get some fingerprints on them. Now, Upgrade Path is one area that you're gonna wanna keep in mind. The only thing you have access to is an M.2 drive. There's no upgradable RAM. So whatever you purchase the laptop with is what it will come with. Now, keep in mind this laptop as configured right now is around $1,400 on sale. I think the MSRP price on this one was around $2,200. So if you're looking for a good sale, check out Lenovo.com. You can use the links in the description below. And of course, if you do use those links to make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, it's super helpful when y'all use those links because that's what keeps channel live and the helpful content coming your way. So I always appreciate that. Now checking out the screen. This is an area that I was impressed with this laptop. It had 476 nits of screen brightness. It had a 100% sRGB, 78% Adobe RGB, and 78% DCI-P3. A little bit low on the Adobe and the DCI-P3, but really happy with the brightness on this panel. And it is a matte panel. It's kind of a semi-matte because you can see a little bit of the reflection uh, with this panel, uh, but it's not fully gloss as you can see there. 
You can see my light above, but you can't see all the details and contrast like you could on a fully glossed out screen. So it's kind of like a mid-range. Now, it does have a Delta E of 1.52, so really solid color accuracy coming out of this panel. For the battery life, that was one area where I was happy as well. About nine hours of battery life for both streaming video playback and Passmark productivity, six hours of Photoshop work, and about four hours of video editing out of this laptop. Ports and connectivity on the X1 Nano, kind of slim. We have two USB type C's as well as a headphone jack. And on the right side, all we have is our power button. So keep in mind that you're actually going to have to power this laptop with the USB type C, which means you technically only have one USB C port available unless you bring a dongle with you. Just keep that in mind. But again, I think the biggest feature is definitely going to be how light this laptop is. It, it's incredible. Let's check out the performance coming out of such a small, thin, and light laptop. Now looking at Cinebench R23, both single core and multi core, as well as Geekbench single core and multi core, you can see it's right in those top slots of other similar laptops coming out this year. Now, where I start to get more excited about this laptop is in the real world benchmarks. Looking at Photoshop, we score an 836. Now, the best score I've seen by far this year has been the 898 out of the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360 with the same processor. So keep in mind, it's not going to be the highest performing version of the i7-1360p, but it definitely hangs right up there with the fastest laptop equipped with the same processor. Now, looking at drop frames inside of Premiere Pro, you can see we have zero drop frames for 1080p playback, zero drop frames for half quality 4K playback, and then 417 drop frames for 4K full quality playback. So we have pretty solid drop frames for this laptop, uh, especially for 4K. I would not recommend getting into 6K with this laptop, need a dedicated GPU in my opinion, and this is not going to pull things off. Now looking at the export time, good export time, five minutes and seven seconds, kind of sits right around the mid range of the laptops here. But you can see the top end, uh, those are going to be laptops with dedicated GPUs. I kind of just threw those in there to show you kind of what the contrast was. If you're gonna get a laptop with a dedicated GPU versus a laptop with just integrated graphics. And you can see still solid export time at five minutes where one of the dedicated GPU laptops uh, was about two minutes and 58 seconds. Now, if you're somebody who's going to be shooting either 1080p or 4K, you can see the export times coming up on the screen for that. And if you were to run this laptop on only battery power and do a 4K export, you actually only add about 10 seconds to the export time by running off of battery power. So this laptop does a really good job of having great performance while using battery or plugged into the wall. If I was looking for a laptop in this price range, this would definitely get my top pick. I love the materials they chose to use. They're light and sturdy. Aluminum is great, but I think this material just has a lot of forgiveness to it. Uh, it takes spills very well. You're not gonna worry about dents too much. You're not gonna worry about cracking too much with this material. It's gonna be very durable over the long run. Now keep in mind, links in the description if you are ready to make a purchase or click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your buying decision. I'll see you here in the next one.